This is question eight from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we've got an inequality, and our inequality is telling us that 2y is greater than or equal to negative 6, but that 2y is less than 5. We're told that y is an integer, so that word integer just means a whole number. Then we're asked to write down all the possible values of y. Now the nicest way to go about doing this is to solve this two-way inequality. And the nicest way to solve the two-way inequality is to split it up into the two parts. So the first part is negative 6 is less than or equal to 2y. So we're going to write that out. And then we're going to write out this part of the inequality. 2y is less than 5. So just splitting it down into its two parts. Now we've got two inequalities which we can solve nice and easily. So we can say that negative 3 is less than or equal to y. And we can solve this one nice and easily. y is less than 2.5. Then once we've solved each of these, we can then just put this back together. So we can say that negative 3 is less than or equal to y. And y is less than 2.5. Now we're asked to write down all the possible values of y. So we're saying that y is greater than or equal to negative 3, but is less than 2.5. So our potential whole numbers, integers, that y could possibly be is negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So our final answer here there, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. All of the whole numbers that are between negative 3 and 2.5, including negative 3, but not including 2.5.